Okay, now we're going to work on painting our rocks. So here you'll see a rock that I let sit for 24 hours. And I'm showing you that I've already painted the back side, which I always start with the back side. Um, because if they're not perfect, it's okay. It's more of the top that I wanted to, you know, dry out completely. Because if I set these down upside down on the front side, then sometimes the paper will go on it or it just won't dry properly. And I don't like the way they look. They'll get ashy. So I'd rather have that happen to the bottom. And if I need to go over the bottom again, I will. So in here you'll see that I'm just painting the top. I'm dabbing it in because I unfortunately had too many bubbles in this one. I didn't tap the mold long enough. So I have little bubbles that we're still going to use. It's perfectly fine to paint over top of them. So you don't want to throw out a rock or not use them because of the blemishes it has. So here's another one. You'll see all the air bubbles. These ones I typically don't want to sell. These ones I typically I do want to paint and use them for my workshops. They're perfectly fine to use. So you'll just see me painting them again, dabbing it, making sure all that white is covered up. If you need to do another coat, then do so. But try to prevent any of the air bubbles as much as possible. I have had one like cater uh, <laughs> crater whatever you want to call it at one point and I can't use that because once they're using their dotting tools if it's bigger than my purple tool I I just can't I can't use them so again I'm dabbing it in making sure all the paint is getting into those little tiny holes smoothing it out and then I let them lay flat and dry and of course I'm going to paint them all but there you go that's a finished one you'll see the back um, because it's been sitting like that um, after drying that it didn't completely dry on the bottom which is okay because you're going to be doing the uh, guidelines on the top and that's it thanks for watching